I want to talk about a, a plugin called Lightbox Plus. So if you've not, I've, I've already installed it on my system. Um, but if you haven't done, you go to Plugins, Add New, and then in the Search Plugins box, search for Lightbox Plus, and then just you just install it like any other plugin. Just just follow the instructions. It's really easy to install plugins. I've already got it installed on this system. So what does it do? Right. Well, normally when you open an image from if you've got a thumbnail and you click the thumbnail, it opens like this. But with a light box, you click the thumbnail and it opens like that. It's just a fancy little box that the uh, the image will open with. Now, when you install this plugin, you don't have to do anything, and it will automatically open. Um, if you put a thumbnail in your page, it will automatically open that thumbnail in the light box. But it won't automatically do that for image galleries. So if you want to open image galleries in the same way, you need to change some settings. I'll show you how to put an image gallery, just in case you don't know how to do an image gallery. Um, let's have a new post. right now all you do you make a new post or a new page then you click the insert or upload button select the files from your computer so we'll have um, try and pick some different ones that we didn't have in the last gallery there. just upload them So far all we've done is it added an image to our page, but we've added several in one go. So let click say, click save changes. Now when you add several images in one go, it asks you if you want to insert a gallery. This one here. Um, so we want to insert a gallery, but we want to pick this as well, it says image file. So we want to link thumbnails to image file, not to this attachment page. So, it, it, you can change the number of columns as well. If you wanted a different number of columns, you can choose here. Three fits nicely in the page we're going to use. So, click Insert Gallery, and there's the gallery in our page. So, we'll click Publish, and we'll view our post. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> right, so now we've got some images, but they don't open in the fancy light box. So we need to make a ch change some settings to make that happen. So we've already installed the Lightbox Plus plugin. So now we need to go to Appearance, Lightbox Plus, and then th these are all the settings we can change. And we need to change other settings. So if you look down this list, all these different ones, and we've found uh, Primary Lightbox Other Settings. And there's one here that says use for WP gallery. So we just click that and then click save. And now when we go back to our gallery, we'll refresh the page and the light box works. If you want to change the style of the light box, there's a lot of different styles you can use. The, at the top here it says Lightbox Plus General Settings. Now one I particularly like is called Elegant. There's lo loads of different styles you can choose from. But the Elegant one I like. So click Save Settings. So it's that Lightbox Plus style. Choose the one you want. Or just have a try. Try a few of them and see what you think. And then we can go back and see what's what it looks like now. Refresh the page. And... There we go, it's got a different, it's got a darker background. So, well that seems easy enough. Alright, what shall we do next? What you might want to do is to only make the light box work on certain pages, so well, certain images. So the way you do that, let's add another picture to one of our pages. Right, 
uh, I've got one picture there so we'll add another picture so we'll add a thumbnail just want to put the picture on the page choose it as a thumbnail insert it into the post and there's the picture but this time we're going to have to change some settings to um, to, to make it so that the, the light box only opens when we tell it to so let's go to appearance light box plus oh, telling us we've forgotten to save our page there we go so we're going to appearance light box plus and now we need to go to um, I think it's other settings and what we want to choose is where it says use class method we're going to use click that one we're going to unclick this gallery and we're going to click this do not auto light box images you can't have um, the gallery working and this do not auto light box images working at the same time I'll show you what that means in a minute but what we've done we've gone to appearance light box plus then we found primary light box other settings and we've deselected the gallery so that's not clicked anymore and we have clicked use class method and do not auto light box images and now we need this bit of code here so we'll copy that so it says C box model. So we'll save our settings and we'll see what our pages look like. Um, we'll refresh the page. See, the light box has gone away now. It doesn't have that light box fancy effect. So let's have a look at our post. We'll refresh that one. Right. See, no light box effect. So we've got to add the light box effect for each individual image so we'll go to the page and it was post with a photo so all we need to do now we're going to add the light box to this one but we're not adding the light box to that one so click the image click the little photo edit button and we want to go to advanced settings up at the top here and then CSS class there. we're going to put that uh, bit of code in there C box modal it's got a capital M and then uh, <laughs> I can't get the thing on the page let's have a look uh, mm, struggling here aren't we there we go right so we put class C box modal and then we just click the update button and that was in advanced settings edit image advanced settings so I'll click update and the, 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 this is where the code went click update right now let's see what that looks like we'll refresh the page forgot to update again there we go and then we'll view the post so this one doesn't have the light box but this one does so we can now choose individually which which image we would make open in the light box and we did that with um, appearance light box plus then we went to primary light box other settings and we chose use class method and do not auto light box images and then we pasted this piece of code in um, let's have a look what we do you click the image and then you click this little photo edit image button there and then you click advanced settings and you paste it in CSS class paste it in there and then underneath that is just out of screenshot is a button that says um, update 
So now that one will open as well in the same way in the light box. So if we view that post, now both of these will open in the light box. Oh, no we don't. Oh, hang on. Let's not sure. I pasted it in the wrong place. Let's have a look. Um, I pasted it in the wrong box. Oh, wrong picture. settings hmm. oh it should be that one update update again and we'll view our post there we go hello in this video, we're going to set Lightbox Plus plugin so that gallery images work in WordPress. Now I've already made it so that ordinary thumbnails open in a Lightbox like this. But <clears throat> if, we want to in, um, if we want to put a gallery in our page, it won't automatically open in the Lightbox. We've installed Lightbox Plus, this plugin, we've installed that plugin, but it doesn't Opening a, doesn't open gallery images in a light box unless you change the settings. So that's the only picture we've got so far in our media library. We'll add a, add a gallery to our page. So upload some files. Now this is the important bit, we've got to make sure where it says here Attachment Display Settings We've got to make sure that link to is Media File If it's any of the other settings the gallery won't open in um, light boxes So make sure that there is Media File Now we want to make a gallery So up here in the left hand corner it says Create Gallery so we've uploaded our pictures, we've uploaded them, through, them three pictures. <laughs> so we click create gallery. And then all we have to do now is where it says here, create a new gallery, click that one, the blue button. And then insert gallery. Now we'll update our page. And we'll see what it looks like. Right, so now we've got a little gallery in our page, but it doesn't open in a light box. So, first of all, I'm not sure actually if we. Ah, you see there it says attachment page. Although we set it when we uploaded them, it still hasn't, hasn't uh, sort of worked. So, click each one and make sure we've got this media file there. Another one, that's it. that's it. I don't know why it does that. Once you've set it once, you would think it'd be, it will be set, but it, it, you seem to have problems with that. That's one of the biggest problems I've found people have with um, with Lightbox Plus, trying to make the, uh, the images open in a gallery. It's, it starts setting now. It still won't open in a Lightbox because we need to change another setting but now it's linking to the image, it's not linking to a page, it's linking to these images. So let's go back to our settings. We need to go to Appearance, Lightbox Plus, and this is the settings for Lightbox Plus. So you go to Appearance, Lightbox Plus, and what we need to do now, we need to go to Primary, Lightbox Plus, settings so it's this one it says lightbox plus primary lightbox settings and we need to click the other tab that one there and then we need to look for the gallery one used for WP gallery so we click that so we've gone to appearance lightbox plus 
Then we scroll down the page for this primary light box settings, click the other tab and we looked for use for WP gallery. I've got to click the save settings button and now if we go back to our page or we'll refresh it when we click a button it opens in a light box click another one opens in a light box there we go now the biggest problem you're likely to find is oh, edit that page um, it's the fact that sometimes this setting here, this link to, could be set to something else. If it's set to attachment page, the light box won't work. So make sure that um, the link to is set to this media file. So what if it all goes wrong? What, what, because there's a lot of um, a lot of settings in Lightbox Plus. I'll show you some of the settings. See, so all, all these have got different settings. And some of them there's quite a lot like these if you change something and you don't know what you've done and it's broken something what you can do right down scroll down at the bottom go to appearance lightbox plus then scroll to the bottom and you'll see this lightbox plus reset to reinitialize and if you click that button there it'll take the settings back to how they were originally when you first installed the plugin now if you, you, can, you can add your own CSS to this um, and if you've, if you've done a lot of a lot of work let's see where the CSS stay in styles if you've done a lot of um, if you use your own custom styles or something like that um, you might not want to reset the settings but one of the quickest ways to fix things is Click, go, scroll right to the bottom of the, the um, Lightbox Plus settings page. Appearance, Lightbox Plus. Scroll right to the bottom of the page and click this re reset or reinitialize Lightbox Plus. And that'll take you back to just how it was when you installed the plugin. Then you'd have to do all your settings again.